Good morning, everybody. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I'm the host of Law Across the Sea. And today, I'm changing the title again, as I do when I have my friend Matt Love on. We're calling our program Love Across the Sea. Uh, Matt and I are friends since we met at Namea, Hawaii, where Matt performs regularly. Uh, I have asked him to come in today and share some Royal Hawaiian music, a few songs written by, by royalty. And today we're going to focus on Queen Liliokalani. But let me tell you a little bit about connections between the law, music, love, and royalty. Uh, first, King Kalakaua. We'll, we'll just talk a little bit about King Kalakaua. King Kalakaua, many people might not realize, was a lawyer. In a newspaper clipping dated February 5, 1870, The following was written. By the following list of attorneys licensed to practice in the courts, published by the clerk of the court, it would appear that the people of this kingdom are not likely to suffer for want of legal advice. And if you count down on the right-hand side about 10 names, the 10th one is Kalakaua David. That's before King Kalakaua became the king, of course, and he practiced law. He had a few cases in Hawaii. Most people don't know about that. And King Kalakaua also wrote music. He wrote Hawaii Ponoi, Hawaii's national anthem. And he was very instrumental in bringing back hula and Hawaiian music to the kingdom. I've asked Matt to share a few of his songs. Welcome, Matt. It's good Welcome. to see you. Good to see you. Please, what's, what, 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 what's your first song going to be today? This is by Queen Liliokalani. Well, yeah, this song here by Queen Liliokalani, you get to do it at uh, Queen's Jubilee. It's almost like a get together and uh, be a joyful evening for everybody that attended this.
Lilio Kalani composed over 165 songs and chants. She was very pr prolific and many of her songs are played today, yeah. still today. Um, what, you know, Matt, what are your thoughts about the Queen and what? Uh, wow. It's really uh, makes me think that I'm glad to be what I am, you know. And, uh, to think that we had such a queen like that and uh, try to make the best for us Hawaiian people. Because uh, I guess you know, man's against a woman, uh, things don't go too evenly, you know. But other than that, I, I'm very grateful we had a queen like that with such a beautiful heart. Right. For the people. Right. She wanted to take care of the people. For the people. And, and, uh, uh, you know, lawyers need love. Lawyers yeah. need a lot of love too. Yes. And the Queen actually had had some lawyers as friends. Oh yes. You know, yes. Uh, one of her uh, one of her friends uh, was the first uh, uh, first president of the Hawaii Bar, uh, right. Hawaii Bar Association, and um, uh, yeah, she had many French lawyers. You know, lawmakers. And uh, it was beautiful. I, I, uh, I remember uh, that we we had made a movie, and uh, but Lilio Kalani, I was part of that movie with all the well-known celebrities, and uh, talked about her life when she was a queen. Yeah, in in I really really enjoyed that. I, it was hot touching moments every time when we go on the set, you know. Of course. Just to just to be involved in it or something. You know? uh, in in 1883 a lawyer from the mainland came to Hawaii. His name was Paul Newman. Uh, it's not not the movie star. Yeah. But Paul Newman and he became a citizen of Hawaii. And later as I was mentioning he became the president of the Hawaii Bar Association. Then uh, he got into government. Uh, eventually, um, he began to represent the Queen, Queen Lilio Kalani, and he went to Washington D.C. as her representative to oppose the first attempted annexation of Hawaii by the United States. And two years later, he was her attorney, yeah. defending her uh, when she was put on trial. Uh, and he continued until his death to be her lawyer. And so it kind of makes you proud, something to be proud of as a lawyer. Oh, yes. You know, oh, yes. I mean, oh, yes. we, yeah. you know, we got King Kalakaua yeah. as a lawyer in Hawaii. And we got lawyers from the Bar Association, the first president, yeah, surprising to, to defending yeah. the queen, defending yeah. the queen. So we're standing up uh, and, you know, there is that connection. There is yeah. that connection. Yeah. Okay, well, what's our, our next our next song by uh, that, that the Queen? That the Queen's Prayer. Okay, and, and, and uh, it, uh, this kind of goes to the, yeah. the time when she was in, in prison, yeah, right? Yeah, she right. was in prison. She wrote that because she felt so downhearted about for the people that, uh, that being meditating and praying was the only thing left when they can the effect Hawaii people had to do and had can do to fight against things like this which are you can't see but it's happening. But prayer was a very strong thing that kept the Hawaii people going. And and so I, every time I hear the song and I read about it I say, Wow makes me think about me, you know, what I what I'm going through. But and, and what she went through, yeah, yeah, yeah you can you can kind of relate, yeah. because at that point she was trying to, yeah, say what was on her yeah. mind in her heart, and Which, well, it, it got to the point that we you know the words cannot fight anymore, so prayer is the next thing that falls in that place. So. Okay. Then she ended up writing the song, the Queen's Prayer. Please.
Come back and finish. Okay. okay. Thank you. My name is Stephen Philip Katz. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I'm the host of Shrink Wrap Hawaii, where I talk to other shrinks. Did you ever want to get your head shrunk? Well, this is the best place to come to pick one. I've been doing this. We must have 60 shows with a whole bunch of shrinks that you can look at. I'm here on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock every other Tuesday. I hope you are too. Aloha. Welcome back, everybody. We're, we're back here with Matt Love. I'm Mark Schklav, the host of Law Across the Sea, and we are Love Across the Sea today. Yeah. And we're talking Love Across the Sea. And, and Matt, I, I got a, a, a picture of you from a long time ago. Uh, yeah. let, let's put that up and see. Hey, wow, who is that guy? <laughs> I think it's Kalakala. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what is the story behind this, behind this picture, Matt? This is well, a... 
I get to do it a lot with my wife. Uh, she just decided that I should show people what I really are. I'm musician instead of uh, just on Hawaii walking around on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she made me go and do this picture. So I went ahead. But come to over, you don't argue, you just go. Yes, dear. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. Well, that's the same in all cultures. I think uh, you just you just do what you're told. Yeah, but yeah, my wife really loved the culture, the Hawaii culture. She loved it very much. But she was one one of the most beautiful dancers. Hula, hula dancer. Once in a while, I do. Who kind of lonely and down, and I miss her. Mm. You know. So, maybe anyway, she goes. She's better off in there than where it's was. So, it was okay. I loved her very much. Okay, so we we talked a little bit about Paul Paul Newman. We talked a little bit about King Kalakaua, uh, lawyers in yeah. Hawaii many years ago, and the Queen, uh, and her imprisonment and defense yeah. she had by lawyers. And uh, she uh, um, uh, continued to write songs, continued to uh, have hope, I think. Uh, she was I, a very great composer, yeah, as yeah. far as I'm concerned, really some of her songs. I, I, I really think know. she was also had some hope in, in, in the princess, Ka yeah. Kailani, that uh, she would eventually... Uh, yeah, uh, she was a great writer. Queen. Yeah. yeah. Gosh. Just being dead is great enough, you know. Uh, now, uh, one of the Queen's best known songs we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, Aloha Oi. Uh, Aloha Oi, I'll tell you just uh, what I know, okay, what, yeah. what I've learned about it, but I w then I want you to tell me what you know about Aloha Oi. Uh, Aloha Oi, uh, as I understand, the Queen was in her home, uh, went over to her home in Manawili. Yeah, uh, right. In Manawili, that's where I live, yeah. okay? And so I, I, apparently, you know, the queen had a home over there, or, or yeah. a, a cottage or mansion or something, because I went and looked back and we found the road and we found the trees and yeah. it looked like a, at that time, in those days must have been quite nice. So as I understand it, the queen was in Manawili and uh, she was about to return over the Pali to ha Honolulu. Yeah. And uh, she saw uh, maybe an officer and a young lady looking at each other, <laughs> okay, and yeah. in love. You love, know? that's what it and they was. Were, and they were about to part, yeah. you know? And I, that, must have, that must have struck the queen because then she wrote this beautiful song. Uh, there was a whole point, uh, that's all she had in her heart. It's love, and it, it teaches us, how us Hawaii people, please try, try your utmost best to love one another, regardless what you had, what kind of description you had before. Put it all aside and just put the word love in front of it, you know? And that's what, actually, that's what she's trying to tell us. But there's, there's still a few there that uh, don't really Look at it that way, yeah. Well, you know, as a lawyer, I'm always dealing with people, and not always yeah. on the best yeah. terms, and not always uh, people that have love in their hearts. But as a lawyer, sometimes we got to remember that it still exists, yeah. and uh, maybe it's something that we should be reminded of. You know, that's why. Yeah. I, li I like to do this show with you every so often uh, to, to give us uh, yeah, a, a little bit yeah. of I insight and uh, a little bit of love for lawyers here uh, and um, a little bit of knowledge about that, that there's more than just fighting, that we can, that we can perhaps well, look for some good I things. I would look at the lawyers, yeah. they just do the job like anybody else, you know. And uh, you come out a winner, some you come out a loser, whatever, it's still a job. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And that's what it's all about. Understand that what he went through. Once you understand what he went through, then you can find out what it's all about. Okay, so you, you've you been over to Manawili, right? Oh, you, yes, you, I've you been there 
I, I see that place. I can pictureize that place, how beautiful it was. But by the time I got there to look at that place, it was just about going down little by little. I never thought I had such a place like that existing. Right. It's such a big driveway coming up on a white, pure white coral. And Aloha Oi is kind of a, a good, uh, good song for all occasions in a way. It's a yeah. good, it's good for many different uh, things. So yeah, give give us uh, give us give okay. us the song. Okay, okay, I, I just love that. You know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. That song is real beautiful. You know, it means a lot. But as a Hawaiian, you gotta learn how to take it in and use it and work on it. And uh, always remember the song, because that song really takes you where you want to go. Yeah. Takes you where you want to go. Yeah. <laughs> Heart and brain 
For today, you know, I, I, what I take from this too is that the queen was looking for things to love. She was looking, looking for things, oh, and she found it. <laughs> you know, which maybe, maybe we should all do a little more of. Huh? Yeah, maybe we should. Yeah. All right, Matt. Aloha. Aloha. Until we meet again. <laughs> yeah, okay, brother. There we go. Thank you.